Hey everyone, it's Kenji, and today we're gonna make a real simple corn and tomato salad. So, it's a very summery salad, even though it's actually not quite corn and tomato season yet. Oh, pop my corn. So I cook my corn. You can cook the corn however you'd like. Um, this is a cooked corn salad, but I did mine in the microwave, which I think, unless you're like grilling it, it's probably my favorite way to cook corn. Um, you just do it in the husk, um, pop it in the microwave for, on a plate for about three minutes. Um, you can do it a little bit longer if you like your corn a little bit more cooked, um, but about three minutes for uh, three years or maybe two minutes for two or one or two years. Um, and it kind of steams in its husk and it comes out really nice and tender and corny flavored. Um, really great. Um, but you could also grill this corn, you could boil it, you could do whatever you want. Um, as long as the corn is cooked, um, it'll work in the salad. Or, you know, if I, so I don't eat raw corn because I'm, I have an allergy to raw corn. Um, but uh, if you can eat raw corn, then you can do this salad with raw corn as well. All right, so the only other ingredients, a red onion. This recipe, by the way, is one that I'm doing for um, the No Kid Hungry newsletter. So if you want the exact printed recipe, um, go to No Kid Hungry and sign up for their new um, newsletter. I'll put a link below. Um, make a donation while you're at it. Uh, and you'll get this full written recipe um, in an email newsletter. Of course, you can follow along here also. It's pretty simple. All right, so we got our red onion. What I'm gonna do with this onion is put it in a bowl of water. And what that does is it washes out some of those um, chemical precursors that form the uh, the lacrimators, the things that make onions uh, give give them that pungency and make and you know make they make your eyes water. They make you they, lacrimators uh, lacrimose like tears. You know, um, so it, it washes out some of those chemical precursors so that they don't really form. Um, that way, your onion stays nice and uh, sweet as opposed to getting super pungent. Um, I'm gonna get some tomatoes going in here. You can use any tomatoes you like, and of course you don't have to use red onion either. You could use, um, you could use uh, scallions, you could use white onions, you could use shallots. Um, if you had something like green garlic, that would be delicious. Also, any sort of like allium, um, any any allium that you would be, that you're happy to eat raw, um, you can use here. Um, this also works great with cherry tomatoes. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me say this like a zillion times, but generally, um, unless you're talking about tomatoes that are coming from the farmer's market or your backyard, um, the smaller the tomato, the better it's going to taste because the smaller the tomato, the more easy it is to get it ripe on the vine before um, before being picked and shipped because larger tomatoes kind of get crushed under, under their own weight or smaller tomatoes do not. Um, this is a great salad to bring on a picnic, which is actually where this is destined today. We're having a little potluck pic picnic with my daughter's uh, friends on the beach today. Um, so we're gonna bring this salad. But it's also really great to do um, as part of a backyard, you know, like a barbecue or a grill cookout. Um, the way I would do it is I would get all of the non-corn ingredients, so like the tomatoes, um, we're gonna throw some basil in there and these onions, um, get them in the bottom of a bowl and dress them, and then you can take your corn, throw it on the grill, grill it, um, and then as soon as it's done, all you have to do is take the corn, pop it into the salad bowl, cut off the kernels with a knife like this, and then toss everything together. So it makes like a really great, easy side salad that uses, you know, fresh corn off the grill. Um, and, and that you can sort of prep in advance before you bring it outside. Maybe two of these years is enough for now. This is some gorgeous corn we found from the farmer's market. The local corn is starting to come in. Tomatoes are still not local. This is very similar to a salad we used to serve um, at my restaurant actually during during good tomato season. We would make a sort of corn, grilled corn vinaigrette that we'd serve on top of um, fresh heirloom tomatoes that were put on toast with mayonnaise. Really yummy. Tomato mayo toast, my favorite, one of my favorite things. All right, onions in. 
I got some basil here. Um, it doesn't have to be basil. You could use parsley, cilantro would be great in here. Um, any sort of fresh leafy herb you want and just give it a real, real rough chop like that. Nothing, nothing too fancy. And then I've got some feta cheese here. Um, and again, this doesn't have to be feta cheese either. Just any sort of salty, crumbly cheese would be great. So like cotija would be great. Um, even like a really, you know, like something like a Pecorino Romano would be really good. Queso fresco would be great. I'm going feta. All right. And now for the dressing, I've got these little key limes. Um, you could use regular limes, you could use lemons. I'm using these because it's what I had at home. So we're gonna do some citrus juice. Um, if you don't want, if you don't have any citrus, fresh citrus, you could also use something like red wine vinegar, or even like apple cider vinegar would be okay. Sherry vinegar would be great. Um, but I think citrus, you know, for these fresh summer salads, I really like going with citrus so that it's all sort of fresh ingredients as opposed to vinegars. But you do whatever makes sense to you. This is a little strainer that I got that um, is like a cocktail strainer. Um, so if you if you go to like the cocktail section of a cooking store or go to a you know any, any any place that sells cocktail gear, these little strainers come in really handy when you're straining like citrus juice and stuff. And then really good olive oil, whatever tastes good to you. I don't it doesn't matter where it comes from as long as it tastes good to you. Nice pinch of salt. Plenty of black pepper, black pepper, black black pepper, black pepper, and that's about it. Now we're gonna toss this up and taste it. Real quick and easy one today, which is what you want in the summer, right? Doesn't that look good to you? Looks good to me. I am bringing this to a potluck picnic, so I'll do my normal taste in a little side bowl. Mmm. Fresh, sweet, and summery. All right, let's get our picture. Let's give a little taste to the dogs. Sit. Good girl. All right, bye bye, corn. We'll see you on the other side, I'm sure. Here you go, Amon. Oh. <laughs> I know what Amon wants. Amon wants a tomato. Oops. There you go. All right, guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, it's Kenji. There are 22 million kids in this country that rely on school lunches for nutritious meals. And with schools closed now more than ever, organizations like No Kid Hungry can use their support. So I'm asking you to join me. Uh, click the link in the description below to donate some money. No amount is too small or too big. Thank you very much and stay safe. Bye-bye.